<clears throat> Good to go. So one of the most important things for, for tutoring a physics student is getting them to understand uh, the right triangle and their relationship to the mnemonic Soka Toa. Okay, now this is a mnemonic that many students have seen ever since elementary school, maybe middle school. Okay, and basically what this mnemonic means is that uh, this so S O H stands for if you take the sine of some angle theta, it will be equal to the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. And so you can extrapolate this to mean uh, for each of these other functions as well. So for sine, it's the sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. For the cosine of theta, it's equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And for the tangent of theta, it's equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Okay? So that being said, we can utilize this mnemonic to help us solve for any of our right triangles. And you will see this come into effect in kinematics, projectile motion, force diagrams, all sorts of stuff, okay? All right, so with this triangle that we have here, the right angle is on this side, and the right angle is pretty typical uh, to, to pick out. It's the one that looks like a 90 degree angle. And then they give us the value for one of our other angles, okay? Now this is pretty common in a physics problem. They may only give you one of the other angles. Now the nice thing is, is that we know that all of the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And so the student should be able to solve for this other angle as well. So if they give us a 30 degree angle here, that means that we're going to have a 60 degree angle on the other side. So 60 plus 30 is 90, 90 plus 90 is 180, and that satisfies the requirements for a triangle. The other piece of information they give us is they give us the length of one of the sides. Okay? Now in any physics problem or any trig problem where you get a right triangle, all you need is two bits of information and you're able to solve for everything else about that triangle. Okay? And in this case, all we got was the 30 degree angle and A was equal to 10 and we were able to solve already that the other angle was 60 and now what we're about to do is solve for the value of B and the value of C using the mnemonic Soka Toa. Now, let's choose to use the 30 degree angle because the great thing is, is it's our choice. And that is an important thing that you need to specify as a tutor to your student. That it is their choice on the angle that they want to use. As long as they follow the rules properly, they will always lead to the right answer. Okay? And, this, and, and, and let me follow up by showing you some techniques on what to do with the student to make them really understand this concept. Okay? So the first thing I like to do is say, alright, well we have an angle and what is the relationship to what's given to us and that angle? Well, the terminology here is opposite, hypotenuse, or adjacent. The hypotenuse is always the longest side, and so value of so this side is going to be adjacent to the 30 degree angle, and side B here is going to be opposite to the 30 degree angle. Okay? So that's really the first classification that we need to get our students to understand, is that they need to be able to label each side in regards to whatever angle that they're working about. In this case, it's the 30 degree angle, and so we need to understand that the side A here is adjacent to that angle. And maybe I might be solving for the value of B. Okay? So what is the relationship between B and the 30 degree angle? Well, that relationship is opposite. Okay? Therefore, I want to use a function that is utilizing both the opposite and the adjacent. And so as I look at my trig functions, I see that only tangent satisfies our requirements here. And so I can write the tangent of theta, which is 30 degrees, is equal to the opposite, which is B, over the adjacent, which is 10. And now simplifying for B, I can multiply both sides by 10, and I get 10 times the tangent of 30 is equal to B. And by plugging this value into our calculator, we can get an answer. 